I'm happy to address this if you want, but um, <laughs> um, so I mean, I'm not <laughs> not a legislative expert, but um, we, we obviously know that DEFRA, um, when they introduced Lucy's Law, um, put in the notes that um, it's it's not intended to to ban ex, um, imports um, and and criminalise those, and that, and that that was that was put in. Um, it's unfortunate that that was put in, um, and and actually there is Mark probably able to expand. There's there's a campaign um, around um, banning the importation of dogs under a certain age, um, and and that's the way to fix it. H however, and and I think this is the the, the key point. Um, no matter what law anybody writes, there'll be criminals who exploit the opportunities. Um, and, and I think that's the key. Um, so, so yes, you know, um, there are loopholes in, in all legislation, um, but actually people always find a way. So it doesn't matter if we improve it or not. <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me jump in on that one. So the history of this particular, um, and it is a loophole, was that when Lucy's law was passed, there wasn't a loophole, but DEFRA decided to deliberately insert one. We had this confirmed on a rather uh, interesting Zoom call with uh, the minister present um, because they wanted to ensure that there was never a shortage of pups in the UK. So by leaving one channel open, which is the legal selling of puppies without their mum, as long as the person selling them can be claiming to breed them as well, set up a completely two-tier system of selling puppies in, in England, um, which is basically to be sold without their mum, uh, imported from Northern Ireland in these two cases, and we're talking about two dealers in the Northwest, uh, or obviously to sell with mum present in the place they were born, which are the two protections given by Lucy's Law. So as Jake quite rightly says, the, the Ban Puppy Imports campaign, uh, if and hopefully when successful, will close this loophole because obviously it will drive the age of imported pups up, which makes them uh, non-desirable and hopefully will close that loophole. And there's also activity going on behind the scenes uh, for other ways to close it. So, yeah, it was very unfortunate. Um, it, was a, it was a horrible secret to keep because obviously we couldn't tell anyone about it because you're basically advertising how to sell puppies without their mum in England and, and to get around Lucy's law. So action is being taken. Progress is definitely being made behind the scenes and hopefully we'll see and enter that particular loophole uh, in the next few months. And hopefully with Wales, Scotland and Northern Ireland now adopting Lucy's law as well, they'll be able to write into that legislation to close it before it even happens. And obviously Lucy's law legislation in Northern Ireland will prevent those puppies from coming into the UK anyway. So everything crossed, fours crossed, fingers crossed, we'll, we'll get to the end of this. Uh, and, and solve it by the end of the year. Thank you, Mark. Okay.